Hello and welcome! My name is Ajax Post and you join me here once again in Computer Tycoon as we watch, well, myself, strange out-of-body experience there, and my three managers running a awesomely successful computer company. And you can see that awesome success here on a globe which is entirely coloured. I am the predominant seller of computers the green company, yes, that, that's me, throughout pretty much the entirety of the world. And you can tell how successful I've been also by looking at my finances at the top here. $1.7 billion. Yeah, that, that's quite a healthy bank balance. I, I mean, OK, I'm not Elon Musk. As, but <laughs> who on earth would want to be Elon Musk? But anyway, yeah, put that aside. Put that, that thought to one side. Yes, I'm making two and a half million a day and we're doing very well. We have, if you've seen the previous episode, discovered a number of technologies, uh, things like the five and a quarter inch bay and indeed the five and a quarter inch disk drive as well as some new software, the Access Modernization. Now, one thing I don't think you saw as we came out of the last episode was that my marketing man had completed his work with the publication or the publishing of a brand new computer game, which was just in time for me to update uh, our latest version of software here. Uh, that's Empire, a brand new game. Uh, it doesn't tell me... I'm not, it, <laughs> It's going to last. This game. How many games do you know that will continue running for over a thousand years? Yeah, I, I'm not sure even those initial cartridges you got from the Commodore or the Nintendo or whatever it was you played with back in the day. I'm not sure they last quite this long either. But anyway, yeah, so we've got a, a new piece of software and in fact, uh, which I think uh, I don't think you actually saw, but it happened very, right at the very, very end of the last episode. Uh, I've given my marketing man here, and I've forgotten your name already. Who are you? Logan Taylor. That, that's better, yes. So he's got a job now spreading lies about as a competitor CEO, which I think it's a pity you can't look at what that task actually does when it's running. But if I remember correctly from when I set the task up, it will mean uh, his fans become dissatisfied with him. Yes, I can't quite tell which... Uh, yeah, which company he's targeting or whatever. Yeah, unfortunately, it would be nice if you could look that up after you've set the task running. Anyway, we have got lots of new technologies already prepared. We've got new disk drives. So if I go to removable media here, uh, I don't need all of these old ones. Let's archive those away. Okay, so if we come into this one here. Yeah, we've got the five and a quarter inch bay. Um... Oh, that's, that's the removable hardware, isn't it? Yes, I remember we did make a choice there, didn't we, between whether we wanted to use the new floppy diskette drive technology or remain with the ROM cartridge. And I decided to stick with the ROM cartridge because that gives me better performance. Yes, twice, well, almost twice the performance of the diskette drive. But uh, yeah, so we'll carry on, I think, putting the ROM cartridge in our PCs. However, we are about to complete research on a 1.5 micron manufacturing technology, which you will... You researched a new technology. Thank you so much. Allow me to upgrade a whole slew of components, including... Let me check my notes here. The CPU. Uh, I don't want that old one. Archive you. Okay, so we've got this one here. Now this will reduce the cost of manufacturing, which means, well, we'll see what it means in a moment. So let me just copy this. Uh, we'll create a brand new one. Yeah, I'm slightly running out of exciting names to give my hardware components. So the first number there, 80, is the year of release. So we're in 1980. The 80 refers to the fact that it's an 8080 CPU and dash one, the uh, one micron processor. So we take that out, put the 1.5 in there. That's good. Uh, oh, we've it's changed all the numbers here, hasn't it? So we want to get performance up. So if I multiply that by four-ish. So what's the cost here? The cost previously was uh, 109.52 production points. It's gone down to 97. I think that's quite good, and it's a nice boost in performance. Yep, yeah, we'll stay with that, I think. That is good. I mean, I don't have any competitors who are coming anywhere close to what I'm actually doing at the moment. 
So I don't need to go all out on quality features, performance, that sort of stuff. They're just not in the same ballpark as me, as we've seen. So we'll copy you. So this is my 1980 EEPROM. That's it. Uh, we'll leave SCSI in because I, I just like having all the connectors. <laughs> and we'll change that to 1.5. And the price of this has gone down to 35.17 from 41. Nice. So when you scale that up to the hundreds of thousands of units I will be creating, that's not bad. Well, actually, I'm not sure it's a hundred, hundreds of thousands yet, but it is quite a few. Uh, memory, we can also reduce the manufacturing scale of that. This is a 1980s version of my RAM, which should be even cheaper. Oh, I can multiply this. Excellent. Uh, so, we, yeah, we do need the performance to go up. And as long as we keep it below 50 or so, oh, this, this is good. I could, of course, type a number in there. Uh, just two noughts will do. 6.75, a nice boost in performance uh, capacity. I could increase that to 2K. That makes it much more expensive, so I'm not going to do that. 1.25. It's, it's, capacity on these things isn't a big deal, as far as I'm aware, in, uh, in adding up to the computer's overall qualities. So we'll leave that like that. That's a nice reduction in price. And finally, we have got... Uh, it's a video card, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So we'll take you. We'll create a copy of you. And again, just take the processing manufacturing technology down to 1.5. We'll stick a multiplier in there of two or three. I could, I could make it three, couldn't I? It's easier to type than trying to drag that slider along. So yeah, a nice boost in performance and it's still four points cheaper at least than the old one. Excellent. Now we've got all these new components. I think it's time we build ourselves a new computer for 1980. I was looking at this before we came in to start the recording at my competitors, and as you can see here, they're selling theirs hugely cheaper than I am, but in every respect, their computer's attributes really just don't compare to mine at all. And as you can see here on pricing, yep, top dog in everything. I've got the highest value for everything. But let's see, uh, what should we do? We will copy this, we will create a new machine for 1980. And we will put in the new memory, which will be that one. Uh, the new CPU, that's it. Uh, the new removable media, yeah, that's that one. Oh, that is a lot more expensive, being a five and a quarter inch bay. But it's altogether better otherwise, so that's fine. The GPU, yeah, we'll take the latest. The power supply, there's been no upgrade to that in ages. And uh, storage, yeah, that's... I've increased the, I haven't increased the capacity, but the performance has improved, as has the feature set. That's, that's the five and a quarter inch thing, I think. Doing that. Motherboard. Uh, where's my new one gone? Oh, it's become, uh, there's, there's, there's a slight issue. Now, discussed this a while ago with uh, Andrash, the developer of the game. It's something to do with the way the mouse click is, is captured and remembered. Um, and it's also possible possibly to do with the way I run, I handle my mouse as well. So, yeah, so things accidentally get archived when they shouldn't do. Uh, so we'll take you. And the display, that's not changed. Uh, the operating system, however, has. Right, and that's all done. Uh, the pricing, I'm thinking of actually reducing the price of this now, because what I want to do is wipe the opposition out of the marketplace. We've already seen one competitor go bankrupt. It'd be nice if more of them went bankrupt, to be honest. So, yep, that's what we're trying to do. I think we'll leave these all as is. Not that we're going to get to marketing just yet anyway. First off, we need to test it. Let's do that. The new computer model went into the testing phase. Now, I have 8.7 logistics points still left, so I could go into some more countries. So let's have a look at uh, countries we've not been into yet. We'll sort them by size. The bigger the country, the better the result. Uh, where should we go? Uh, we could go to Senegal. Yeah, we'll put a point in there. And we could go to mm, Chad. Why not? Put a 
point in there. Where else can we go? They are all poor. They're all poverty countries, so the profit margin is that much less in these in those countries. Uh, but yeah, we could try Botswana. Yeah, it's a poor country, so the profit margin should be larger. Oh, we've got Chad. That's excellent. I'm staying at Libya because I have a suspicion. Uh, I don't know actually what it might turn communist. It might close up. I'm not sure. We've left it anyway for the time being. The other thing I wanted to do was start increasing my research. I just need to push ahead with that. Your new computer model is polished. But not before sending my new computer out into the marketplace. So where shall we go? We'll go here. We'll look at Prodec uh, 81. And we'll change the price of it to 75. So if we look at the basic profit, this is just uh, the production cost minus the income. Also, the income minus the production cost. It doesn't include things like marketing and so on. So it's, it's indicative. It's not the final word in what our profit would be. Uh, I think we're doing quite well there. So that's 1.1, uh, 1.5. How does that compare to my old machine? It's a bit, it's a bit less, but that's okay. I think we're all right with that. Yeah, we're all right with that. So I'll stick with that 7.5 pricing. And the idea is that that should beat off more of my competitors. That's the idea anyway. So let's, uh, let's market you. And how many people want to buy it on day number one? Whoa, <laughs> 21,000. Of course, that disappears quite quickly as uh, the, the, uh, the, what do they call it, the bleeding edge customers uh, run away. They've already got it. They don't want to buy more. So, yeah, we're, we're doing well. Selling over 10 million. That's awesome. I'm back up to 99.67% of the market. And our losses are, that's it, reducing. Good. We're back into profit again. 1.6 million. That is awesome. Uh, where else should we go? Namibia? Well, we've got the whole of Europe, haven't we now? I, yeah, I did capture the whole of Europe, even though taxation is ex taxation is high in Europe. I'm hoping the size of those countries is a reward in itself. Oh, should we go there? Let's go there. Put a point in there. Should we get rid of South Sudan as well? You have researched go a new on, technology. Then. Let's go there. So we've now got DRAM. Let's have a look at research. I was talking about going into adding more research points. I mean, it's, it's not that I really need it, to be honest, because my com competition is so far behind me. Let's have a look what our queue looks like at the moment. So we've got DRAM, which is, uh, let's get that out of the way again, uh, which is up here, which gives me, oh, loads of lovely capacity on the memory and stuff, uh, uh, quality and prestige points, more performance, features oh that that's that's a lovely piece of technology so we'll do that and the dram is for cpu memory and video card nice so that's three new components i can design i can prototype what, what are we looking on the queue at the moment there so next up is going to be midi uh then followed by the 286 which is a generational change in the cpu technology i'm missing out the 8088 because it's kind of a dead end in that generation of CPUs. Yeah, we could do, yeah, that's that's fine. I think we might change this up a little bit. But other than that, I think that research schedule is good. Now, the one thing I want, I want to get to the XT power standard. Right, I am doing the increased noise reduction, aren't I? Yeah, so that that's that. That should then allow me to do the XP power standard. If I add that to the queue. Yeah, that's but to do that I do need that uh, noise reduction technology. As you see the XP XT power standard costs a lot in research terms. But I think and I've not counted them up, I think that is the final piece of PC technology that I need to start producing personal computers as opposed to home computers which opens up a whole new marketplace for selling stuff into. Yes, indeed it does. So we'll do that, but having these much more expensive research 
uh, technologies or these much more expensive technologies to research, if that's the right way of phrasing that. Uh, we, I do, do want to increase my research, I think. If we go to our offices, our building sites. So if we look at our research labs. Uh, so this is the best one we've got, I think, at the moment. Yeah, you see, going up to level three research lab in Switzerland, actually with the level three office, I could increase it to level four, which gives me a bigger discount on the more expensive research lab. See, that's a nearly a million dollars a day, which I can actually I can actually afford. Let's let's do that. We'll do that, which will give me a lovely uh, extra four research points. But what I was actually also thinking was going to an average wealth country. Here we go. I don't want one with a site. Well, I haven't got sites on any of them. That's fine. <laughs> if I go to one of these, then it'll be cheaper to build a new low-level research lab because, uh, as we've seen before, in the poorer countries, like South Africa, for example, the research lab incur a penalty cost of 30% because of the lack of uh, wealth within that country. If I go to an average country, I don't think I'll get any wealth increments uh, to the cost of my research labs in those average countries. So I think that's what I will do. Will I put up a new site in... Oh, I like Portugal. I've been to Portugal. Lovely country. Yeah, we'll go to Portugal. I think we'll build a site there. Cost me 10 million. Oh, I, I can afford that, I think. Yes, there we go. So we go back to the world. We don't need to do that, but I'm going to do it this way around. We'll go here. So we're going to build an office. Yeah, you see, I'm getting no wealth uh, tax, as it were, for research. Uh, actually, if I click that, that'll tell me. Yeah, no wealth tax uh, for the average country. So we'll build that. We'll build marketing. I might as well build a logistics office as well. Right, so that's all coming through. We've just learned something new about marketing. So let's have a look at our computer. What have we learned? Uh, oh yes, the billboards are very important. I think when we came in to do this, when we released this latest computer, that was a question mark. That is now a positive. So that does mean billboards are very important selling these home computers to casuals and in a big marketing campaign. Could I go somewhere else? What are you? Somaliland, uh, Gabon, Republic of Congo? We'll go there. We've got 2.7 uh, logistics, point, logistics points left. And come on, come to me. Your building upgrade has completed. Right, so Portugal is now on tap. So I've now got 11.3 research points, which is excellent. Do we want to build, and I've got another logistics point because my logistics office is now here as well. Let's increase marketing. Yeah, the office, I think, and logistics. We might as well. Oh, no, the office needs to be <laughs> Yes, in every video I say I must remember you can't increase the level of your logistics without first increasing the level of your office. And yeah, I've just forgotten that. That's fine. Okay, right. That's Switzerland. We've increased the level of our uh, office. Uh, that's right. We went up to level four, so we get a minus 40% discount on all our buildings daily costs. So our laboratory now, if we upgrade this, it will cost us just 840,000 a day. In fact, if we go to back to our buildings list, we can see here the difference that makes. So going up filthy rich. So if we're comparing here, we've got a level three office in Kuwait. It's filthy rich. So we get the same level of discount because of the country's wealth. A level three would cost 980. Here, because I've got a level four office, it costs just 840. So I think that's worth it. That's good. I think though, we appear to be not making too much money at the moment. Why is that? Oh, that's better. I have a suspicion it was the logistics office upgrade filling up that warehouse because my warehouse space, the SPP, does increase as you add logistics offices. 
that's it. I, oh, I'm making less than a million. I'm making only half a million a day. That's not so clever, is it? So I won't upgrade the <laughs> the Swiss research Your lab just yet. Your building has completed. Okay, we've added all sorts of new buildings in Portugal, which is fine. We'll leave them like that for the moment. I don't like having such a small profit per day. Half a million, that's not good. So should we start selling somewhere else? Uh, let's go to Namibia. I'm now at 99.7% of the market. In fact, if we look here, yeah, that, uh, everyone else is just <laughs> tootling around at the bottom there. Got the whole of South America and Central you have America. researched a new technology. Might be nice to get the whole of Africa. Well, all the bits that I can get. I, I like having whole continents. Uh, we've actually got this here. That's uh, Bhutan. It's a very small country. Oh, let's take it. It's just annoying having that little brown blob in the middle of Asia. So we'll take Bhutan. We're not going to make any money really out of that, but hey ho. We've got MIDI. We're waiting for the 286 to come through, which will be lovely. Oh, Mysterioso has leveled up and he is my logistics manager. There you are. Uh, logistics, there you go. And he is currently offering his logistics talents in one country or other. I've forgotten which one it is already. Okay, so what skill do I want to give you? More logistics? We will do that. Yep, yeah, good. So that should give me a little bit extra bonus on the logistics points. Oh, people are releasing new computers. Okay, good. Uh, we want to take you out. Uh, we'll take you out. So, Dator. Uh, is that Dator? Yes, it is. And big and Forsha, they've released new computers. How do they compare to mine? Uh, again, they just don't. It's kind of sad, really. Okay, we're going to Zimbabwe. I really didn't want to, but we will. It's a large country. It may go communist, it may close up at some point. One of your competitors went bankrupt. Yes! Another bank. Competitors went bankrupt. Ooh, that's two. So we have lost IBM and massive modules. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Uh, they've not gone off this graph just yet. But share. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what can these poor people do? What can they do? Uh, I've got one little logistics point left. Where shall we send you? Uh, you are... You're quite big. You're not. You're all Western Sahara, aren't you? Ooh, Togo. Little slip of land, but you are very densely populated. Let's take you. That'll be my last logistics point. You have researched a new technology. Okay, we have researched the 286. The 286. Uh, it's a nice increase in performance. Uh, it does start adding heat to our uh, computers, but that's okay. We don't have a heat issue at the moment at all. Uh, we've got CPU overclock coming in in a, ooh, a very few days' time. Well, that does actually add quite a lot of heat. <laughs> then we can do the 386. Or the overdrive. Ooh, the overdrive processor. I like the look of that. It doesn't do much for performance, but it does add lots of features. Or we could do the one micron. Or Sims. There's so many things to choose from. I think if we go for the one micron to reduce our manufacturing costs, that'll be good. Uh, didn't want to do that. I wanted to add it to the queue. That's the one micron here. Add it. That's good. Uh, the sim. That's nice. The double E prom. That takes a little while longer. Okay. Right, we'll leave it like that for the moment. Let's have a quick look at our queue. Uh, we've got that. We've got that. Okay, we'll move the one micron up to there. 
Okay, so I do want the XT power standard. I think that's the next big thing. So what I'll do actually is I will close this episode down. We will come to a halt here. We've got the 286, so we are going to be building a fabulous new computer in the next episode with a 286 processor and probably CPU overclocking as well. So don't, uh, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for that. But before I do go, a quick heads up. Your building upgrade has completed. Thank you. Well, I've built a new logistics office. Oh, so I've upgraded my log logistics office in Portugal. So I've now got another three points. So where can I stick those? Somaliland. I'm just wondering how soon it's going to be before these other countries come out from behind the Iron Curtain. I wish I could rem remember my history. I'm sure it is sometime soon actually. It might be it might be the end of this year. Well, what's that? Cyprus. Oh, you're a rich country. Why have I not gone there? Oh, we're definitely going to go to Cyprus. Rich, it's not a big country, but the profits there should be quite good and it is quite a low tax regime as well. Yeah, definitely going there. Uh, so what are we doing? Oh yes, so what I'm doing is there has been an update to the game recently released, which unfortunately is not save game compatible with this version. So I might well do a quick look at the new update uh, quite soon, uh, but this series may also, because of that, and because I am just about to win really, 99.72% of the global market. There's not much further I can go in this game. I have pretty much won as it stands now. So this series may well come to a close fairly soon as well. Uh, so just a heads up on that. But whatever. The next episode will see us doing the 286 and uh, developing even further. And hopefully at least one more company will go bankrupt in that next episode. So I think from me, Ajax Post, I will say thank you so much for joining me today for this episode. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. You know, just click on the old thumbsy uppy button. Even better though, if you've got any thoughts about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, what you're looking forward to in the future developments of Computer Tycoon, then please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon, until the next time, bye bye for now.